Okay. All right. So, hi everyone. Uh, welcome back to another video. Um, I know it's been a while, uh, but I'm gonna try to upload here a workout for the legs. Uh, I haven't myself trained the legs in like quite a long time, uh, just because of the fact that uh, you know outside um, I prefer when I'm going to the parks to do pull-ups or uh, exercises where I need a bar you know uh, so that's why in these weeks that I have gone to the university and as well I haven't really I skipped a lot of days of training and I haven't trained my legs so that's bad so uh, don't do it uh, but yeah today I'm going back here uh, with a leg workout and uh, I'm gonna do two main exercises, one for the anterior chain and one for the posterior chain. So I'm gonna do some squats uh, for the anterior chain, so pretty much for the quads. And uh, I'm gonna use, uh, as a normally, the bed for a reference to know how low I should go. Uh, because of the fact that I don't wanna go too low, that I don't have the flexibility to go uh, very deep and that means that I'm gonna start turning my pelvis and I'm gonna do what it's called the butt wink so I'm gonna like turn the pelvis and uh, and therefore that is gonna take away some uh, um, uh, some force from the quads so uh, and it's a position where as well the hip flexor starts kicking in and that's pretty bad so I'm gonna use the bed as a reference so that I don't go too low and uh, that's gonna be the first exercise the second one is gonna be just doing some uh, um, I don't know how it's called uh, like the hamstrings um, slices I don't know uh, but where you pretty much you place yourself like this and you uh, lift up the butt and you try and move the legs in front and upwards and towards you uh, as you're trying to keep the hips fixed so without having the hips falling down when you have the legs straight so trying to keep them up as you uh, contract the hamstrings and the glutes and as you extend right and that works the posterior chain so the hamstrings and the glutes themselves together because those muscles prefer to work to, to work together so that's optimal and then I'm going to do some at the end some uh, calf raises again to train the, the lower part of the legs and uh, that should be it uh, the work I'm going to do today is going to be like a drop set I know that um, you know when you train legs and you're doing drop sets you should use uh, a lot of weight but in this case I just have my normal weight vest right 10 kilos and then I have this thing that is pretty much uh, three books of anatomy human anatomy and overall this weights almost 10 kilos so pretty much like the vest so I have 10 kilos with the vest 10 kilos with this so I have a total of 20 kilos that I can load up and therefore I'm going to do a drop set uh, until failure uh, especially for like the quads because I cannot do it for like the, the hamstring exercise because uh, uh, you are in a fixed position you can't really add weight because you should need like a band uh, but for the, for the squats you can so I'm going to just take the vest on I'm going to take this extra weight in front of me pretty close to like my my sternum all right so like this and i'm gonna go low here i'm gonna barely touch the bed so that i know i'm low enough and then i'm gonna go up and uh, the position of the legs pretty much a bit of wider shoulder width uh and yeah that's pretty much the movement and uh, i'm gonna go on with the reps trying to not pause between the reps so consecutive right like this and uh, when i feel right that I'm pretty close to failure that I start doing this you know or I start not being able to go up I'm gonna drop the extra 10 kilos from the books 
and then I'm gonna try to continue with just the weight vest uh, and then when I can't go up anymore with the, just the vest I'm gonna take it off and I'm gonna just be by the weight and I'm gonna go again uh, until failure so um, this should provide my muscles with uh, a good overload and uh, and therefore as well training through failure so that helps as well for muscle growth and to and to improve overall the strength so that's great and then uh, as soon as I finish that I'm gonna go to the to the floor I'm gonna do uh, some uh, again hip uh, I don't know how to call them but uh, hamstring slices all right and then I'm gonna go back again to the I'm gonna do two or three sets of that because those exercises you can really do a drop set again as I said uh, then I'm gonna go back here to this so I'm gonna use the the hamstring and glutes exercise as a rest for the quads uh, and as soon as I finish three times the hamstring stuff I'm gonna I'm gonna do like 10 reps something like that uh, and then I'm gonna jump again here I'm gonna take again 10 kilos plus 10 kilos in my hands and I'm gonna do another drop set so in that way I'm gonna overload twice you know uh, the, the muscles of course the second run uh, you're gonna be able to last um, shorter so it's gonna be more difficult to maintain the same amount of reps that you were able to do when you just started and you were uh, fresher and, uh, and yeah I'm gonna do that then I'm gonna do again uh, hip the hip uh, movement and then uh, I think I'm gonna just do calves and that is gonna be a workout so yeah pretty pretty good and uh, that should provide the muscles with a good um, with a good training and a good overload and yeah that's it so I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna as usual get this for my left knee because I don't wanna get it hurt And uh, already, even inside my home, it's pretty uh, cold. So that's why I have here, I don't know if you can see it, I have something to warm up the environment because it's very cold inside. Uh, like 17 degrees inside the house or pretty lower. So okay, that's it. This is to help the knee. All right. It. and now I'm gonna I have done the warm up of course earlier I'm gonna take this off I'm gonna take this because the floor is cold as well I'm gonna take this so that that is pretty much how I'm dressed. Okay, this should be around 20 kilos, so that's not a lot. But at the same time, because I'm doing a drop set till failure, um, this should do the work. So, yeah, pretty much like this. And uh, the good thing about this uh, kind of training is that uh, you don't have a rep goal. So, you don't not trying to reach like 10 reps or 15 or 20 or whatever. You're trying to last as long as you can through the set. Of course, you have to remember how many reps you did, but um, it's pretty free. So you're not bounded like mentally to do 20 reps and then stop, but you're bounded to try to push as long as you can. And then dropping the weight, you're a bit lighter and you should be able to still do some reps, not a lot, but some reps and then uh, when you can't go anymore, you can just leave all the weight down, just your body weight, and trying to uh, have some other reps in the back. So, okay, let's try to go here. And uh, yeah, let's go. So, one.
Let's rub that. No rest, no rest. No pause. Because it's through failure. I have lost a count of the reps I've done. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't wanna heal my quads. My yeah, I lost the, the amount of reps I was doing. I lost the counting. I think I did like 30. One. Uh, with everything. Then I did like 10. Uh, honestly, I could have pushed like more, but I didn't really want to like reach the point where I wasn't able to go up. But yeah, okay, so now this stuff, uh, I'm gonna do the, oh, use something to slide. Yeah, this is this, gloves, should do the work. That's 10. As you saw there, I tried to um, not uh, trying to control the hips, especially when you're like extending the legs. It becomes harder if you're trying to keep the hips high. If I can 10, if not, I'm gonna do eight reps. Okay, 10. Oh, for this one, actually, these things. This knee thing hurts more than it helps, so I'm going to just uh, loosen it a bit. So that's another 10. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm already sweating a lot. That's the bad thing, you know, when it starts to be cold. It's cold, the environment, it's cold. But when you start training, you start sweating. And, but the environment is still cold, so that's, the, that's why I don't like training like this. Like in cold environments and sweating a lot.
Okay, I did three of ten, so that's not bad. Um, not bad. And uh, whew, yeah, that was the hip uh, slices, hamstring slices, in and out. And I still feel like my quads being super contracted from the earlier exercise. But now it's gonna be second run. Let's go here with the next one. Let's uh, let's see how good can I can I do here. Okay. So let's pull on again the vest. extra 10 kilos from this the only problem by having it in the front is that you need to do more strength with the with the back to hold the spine erected so that's the only bad thing but the only thing I can do is like trying to place it a bit lower here that may help a bit so yeah, let's go Let's try to do the second one, let's see how far can I go. Ooh. I have my legs that are trembling when I'm going, when I'm in the upright position. My legs tremble a bit. I don't know if you can see it. Oh my goodness. It's like the bottom position where it's harder to here to push. Come on, no pause. That's it, I think. Uh, again, um, I think, I feel like could have gone longer, but I don't wanna reach that super hard point. 
where I may even, you know, uh, get some injury as well when I'm trying to push and my muscles are telling me don't. <laughs> even though body weight, especially exercises like this, that is a pretty basic exercise, it's very, very uncommon to get an injury. You may only have maybe like a, a contracted muscle or a cramp. But okay. Oh nice one. And now we do the bridges again. So in that way, oh, I'm training pretty much the the anterior chain, the quads, with the squats, and I'm training the posterior chain, that is important as well, with the hamstrings and the glutes. You don't need to, you don't need to go as heavy in these exercises, first of all, because those muscles, you don't use them a lot, so, um, unless you have a, like uh, a specific sport, for example athletics, uh, you are someone that springs, then you need uh, hamstrings very trained and very strong as well because when you're, when you're uh, running, because the shoes has, have the nails, you actually do a part of the movement, is also as well, when the other leg is moving forward, you're still doing force with the other leg, pretty much by contracting the hamstrings. But other than that, you don't really need that much. I mean, to have super strong hamstrings, maybe bicycle as well, a little bit, but But it's good to train them a little bit, you know. But for example, glutes are a lot more, are a lot more important. So just remember to train the posterior chain, especially in exercises that are compound. So to train both hamstrings and glutes together, because that's how they like to to work. But yeah, I haven't trained. Uh, in other planes, so I'm just training the front plane, one movement. I haven't done any lateral movements or rotation movements, but yeah, this is just one training. I don't train like this every time, so no. Eight, just eight now. Ooh. Okay, so the last one, we're gonna do probably another eight of this. Then I'll do some cough raises. And that's going to be the workout for today. So I think that you can bring the, uh, like a concentrated workout in just 10 minutes for like every muscle in the body. It's not just that abs should be trained like this. You can train like this, like every muscle, in my opinion. The important thing is that you know how to overload them and to make the most out of the training session. Okay. And, uh, and yeah.
eight, and that's it. I'm all very, very sweaty. Um, but yeah, I feel pretty satisfied by the workout, even if it was condensed. I just did like two drop sets for the squats and uh, some reps here for the for the hamstrings and glutes. But I think overall I had achieved the purpose of the training. That was overload, metabolic overload by being able to do a lot of reps through failure, well, through almost failure. And um, no rest, no pause between the drop sets. And uh, yeah, that's, that's a pretty nice training. So now just to cover a bit the whole body, I'm gonna take this. All right, let's do some half raises. I like to do the calf raises holding in the top contracted position one second before going down and when I go down as well controlling the movement and after 10 like this just do now 10 fast And you should feel the, the calf there pretty contracted for the end of the 10 reps. Having the knee slightly bent. Okay, so that's one set. And that's how calves are again like abs, are muscles that you train when you do jumps, when you uh, do legs as well. You train a bit because they stabilize the, the ankle and the knee. You know, the, connects those two muscles so but uh, well yeah training like this you can even add some weight I'm gonna now do the same but with a vest on so I'm gonna have some extra weight okay let's change a bit the position though of the foot so that I train uh, a slightly different area ten I'm gonna now switch the legs because I have the weight so I'm gonna do ten with the hold for both legs and then I'm going to do the 10 fast reps for each leg. Okay. Yeah, that's it, I think. That's 40 reps, so. That was my leg workout today, guys. Uh, pretty random, but I'm still pretty satisfied by it, so hope you enjoy. See ya, bye-bye.